This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. Well, we are getting closer to the end of the season. You are tuning in for an exciting show because these are the semifinal games. First game, you're going to see Defiance take on Salina High School. And then in our second game tonight, it will be Bath going up against Pandora Gilboa. Now, many of the players I'm going to introduce you to are familiar faces, but we've actually lost some of them due to activities outside of this realm tonight. They are active students, so we want to thank those of you who have joined us again tonight. All right, let's introduce you to Defiance High School players. We have with us Connor Black, Xavier Payne, Ethan McCabe, and Brandon Morgan. Defiance High School is coached by James Kerr. Welcome back to you guys. All right, turning now to Salina High School, we have Gage Seals, Avery Metzkar, Malcolm Head, and Matthew Stambaugh. And Salina is coached by Hal Hoover. Welcome to all of you as well. All right, since some of you are new, just wanna go over these rules a little bit here. We wanna make sure that when you answer the questions, you speak up as loudly as possible, especially when there is a name involved, make it as complete as possible, okay? We have our judge with us, Mark Dickman, and we will refer to him if we have any questions about your answers. Is everybody ready? All right, let's relax and have a good time with this. And we have first round, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Here we go. In what state is Mount Rushmore located? Yes, Salina. South Dakota. South Dakota is the answer. Identify the cattle trail from Texas to Abilene, Kansas. All right, time is up, teams. The answer is Chisholm Trail. All right, question number three. Who developed the oral vaccine for polio? Stumped them again. The answer is Albert Sabin. All right, moving on to question number four. Ireland suffered the Great Famine beginning in 1845, and that would be Salina. Potato. That is correct, potato. Question five. Dickens wrote of the French Revolution in what 1859 work? Defiance. A Tale of Two Cities. That is the correct answer. All right. Question number six. What city in America has street names that came from the game Monopoly? <whistles> Defiance. Atlantic City, New Jersey. Atlantic City is the correct answer. All right. Question number seven in this first round. Finish this famous quote. A journey of a thousand miles begins... Yes, defiance. With a single step. With a single step is correct. Okay, you have three questions remaining in this first round of the semifinal game. Name the giant ocean dweller that has the largest eyes of any creature. Yes, that would be defiance. Colossal squid. We will accept that. The squid is correct. What African city was Hannibal's birthplace? Defiance. Carthage. Carthage is correct. And here's your final question in round one. According to the proverb, what catches the worm? Salina. The early bird. The early bird is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one in this semifinal game between Salina and Defiance High Schools. And here is the score. Salina, you have 30 points. Defiance, with 50. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers. 
the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We're moving into rounds two and three of our semifinal matchup between Salina and Defiance High Schools. Right now, Defiance is leading with 50 points. Salina, you have 30. That means Defiance, you're first on the board here with five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers and speak up as loudly as possible. All right. Name Lindbergh's plane that set the California to New York record. Yes, Defiance. The Spirit of St. Louis. Spirit of St. Louis is correct. Name the suspension bridge that connects the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. Yes. Mackinac Island Bridge. That is incorrect. You were very close, though, but we have to. Um, the correct answer is just the Mackinac Bridge. All right. Question number three. What is the Greek letter you need to know in order to get the area of a circle? Yes. Pi. Pi is correct. From mythology, what is the name that can be applied to any handsome man? Time is up. The answer is Adonis. All right. Last question in the second round for you guys. Name the river that flows through Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. The Colorado River. That is incorrect. It's the Salt River. All right, turning now to Salina for your five questions. Again, buzz in with your answers, please. What is the slang term that miners use for iron pyrite? I heard it over here after the buzzer rang. It is fool's gold. All right. Name the company that first manufactured pianos, then motorcycles. Yes. Yamaha. Yamaha is the answer. The highest volcano on Earth is located in what mountain range? Time is up. The answer is the Andes. Okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. Who was the first president to hold a live televised news conference? Yes. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That is incorrect. It is John F. Kennedy. Okay, here's your final question in the second round. Name the mother of John the Baptist. Yes. Mary Magdalene. That is incorrect. It is Elizabeth. Okay. We have come to the end of our second round now, and here is the score. Salina, you have 35 points. Defiance with 60. Again, this is the final round of 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody set to go in the semifinal? Okay. Name the Texas metropolis noted for its river walk and water taxis. Yes, that would be Defiance. San Antonio. San Antonio is correct. Name the Dutch artist who painted the Night Cafe in 1888. Yes, Defiance. Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh is the correct answer. All right, moving on to question number three now. What biblical person came close to sacrificing his son? Yes, that would be Salina. Abraham. Abraham is correct. Question four. Identify what the Latin phrase et tu means in English. Yes, defiance. And you. That is incorrect. Salina, you have a chance to answer this one. Yes. To be. That is also incorrect. It is you too. All right. What river joins the Missouri in Omaha, Nebraska? 
Yes, Salina? The Ohio River. That is incorrect. Defiant, you want to try it? Yes. The Platte River? The Platte River is the answer there. All right, question number six in your semifinal. Stravinsky was one of the composers of what Mickey Mouse movie? Yes, Salina? Steamboat Willie. That is incorrect. Defiant, you want to try it? Fantasia. Fantasia is correct. Okay, you have four questions remaining in your game. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes, Salina? Leonardo da Vinci. You are correct. All right, question eight. In the old saying, you rob Peter to pay what saint? Time is up, teams. The answer is Paul. All right, two, two questions remaining here in your game. What city inspired and was the setting for the story of the Capulets and the Montagues? Defiance. Verona. Verona is correct. And here is your final question in your semifinal. Name the civil rights leader who was assassinated in 1968. Yes, that would be defiance. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. is the answer. Okay, we have come to the end of the semifinal game between defiance and Salina High Schools. Here's our final score. Salina, 55 points. Defiance, you're moving on to the final game with 120 points. Congratulations. And Salina, thank you so much for playing with us again this year. We're going to be back with another game, another semifinal, right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. You're watching the semifinals of the 2019 Winter Games here on Wiz Quiz. We just wrapped up a semifinal between Defiance and Salina High Schools. Defiance will be moving on for the championship game, and they will take on the winner of this game yet to be played between Pandora Gilboa and Bath High Schools. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Bath. We have Vincent Abrams. Natalie Crow, Derek Inskeep, and Jemin Gandhi. And Bath is coached by Daniel Grimm. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Pandora Gilboa. Playing for Pandora is Nick Norton, Jacob Suter, Caleb Shear, and Sid Norton. And Pandora Gilboa is coached by Leo Recker and Joyce Suter. Welcome to all of you. All right, here we go. We have 10 questions this first round. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Again, please speak up with those answers. Be as loud as you can and make sure, especially with the names, you are as complete as possible. Everybody set to go? Okay. All right. What were the streets paved with in the land of Oz? Yes, Pandora. Gold. Gold is incorrect. Oh, Bath, you've got a chance here. Yes. Yellow brick. Yellow brick is correct. Question number two. Name the Indiana city that reconstructed its namesake fort in the 1970s. Yes, Bath. Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne is correct. What is the form-fitting bodysuit that dancers and gymnasts wear? Yes, Bath. Leotards. Leotard is correct. What U.S. president died of a gunshot wound in 1881? Yes, that would be Pandora. Abraham Lincoln. That is incorrect. So we've got to turn it over to Bath for a chance here. Okay, time is up. The answer is James A. Garfield. 
Okay, question five in the semifinal. Give the 12 letter word that means a doctor with a specialty in brain surgery. Yes, that would be bath. Neur neurologist? That is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa, you have a chance here. Yes. Neurosurgeon? Neurosurgeon is what we're looking for. All right, question six. What is the Latin name for the Northern Lights? Yes, Bath. Aurora Borealis. That is correct. All right, question number seven in this game. What is a structure designed to emit light from a system of lamps and lenses to serve as a navigational aid? Yes, that would be Bath. A lighthouse. Lighthouse is the correct answer. All right, three questions remaining in round one. What type of smith would want to strike while the iron is hot? Yes, Bath. A blacksmith. Blacksmith is correct. Name Jem and Scout's mysterious but helpful neighbor. Yes, that would be Pandora. Boo Radley. Boo Radley is the correct answer. Okay, you have one question remaining in your first round. Nature is an essay by what transcendentalist author? Yes, Bath. Henry David Thoreau. That is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa, you have a chance to answer this one. Yeah. Robert Frost. That is also incorrect. It's Ralph Waldo Emerson. All right, we've come to the end of round one, and here is our score. Pandora Gilboa, you have 20 points. Bath, you have 60. We are moving into the second round here. Five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours. Please speak up and please buzz in with your answers still today, okay? What was the previous name of the city Istanbul? Yes. Constantinople. That is correct. Give the nickname for the theory that the universe began with an explosion. Yes, Bath. The Big Bang. That is correct. What is the stock market term for a market that is believed to go up? Yes, Bath. A bull market. Bull market is the answer. Two questions remaining here in the second round. Give the C word for a beautiful form of writing. Yes. Calligraphy. Calligraphy is the correct answer there. And your final question in the second round. Which president said the chief business of the American people is business? We can accept the answer. Ronald Reagan? That is incorrect. It's Kelvin Coolidge. All right, Pandora Gilbo, everybody ready over here? Okay, please buzz in with your answers. Name the Greek physician whose name is given to the oath. Yes. Hippa? That is incorrect. It's close. It's Hippocrates. All right. What is the threatened and protected bird that is New Zealand's national bird? Yes. Um, the kiwi. The kiwi is correct. All right. Identify the site of the first permanent English settlement in North America. Yes. Jamestown. Jamestown is correct. Okay. You have two questions remaining in the second round. A replica of whose bicycle shop is in Dayton's Carillon Park? Right. Yes. The Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers is the answer. Okay, last question in the second round. What is the name of the building that houses the U.S. Department of Defense? Yes. The Pentagon. Pentagon is correct. All right, <coughs> we have come to the end of round two in our semifinal game now between Pandora Gilboa and Bath High Schools, and here is our score. Pandora, you have 40 points. Bath with 80. We'll be back with our final round right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. 
and by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, just 10 questions remain until we find out who will be facing Defiance High School in the championship game. So we have a score right now with Pandora Gilboa, 40 points. Beth, you have 80. Our final round here, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Is everybody set? Ready to go. All right. Who was a Siberian monk that had a negative influence over the Russian Tsar? Yes, that would be Bath. Rasputin. That is the correct answer. All right. Question number two. Give the R word that can be a chess piece or a bird. Yes, that would be Bath. Rook. Rook is correct. Moving on to number three now. What automaker was called the father of mass production? Yes, Bath. Henry Ford. Henry Ford is correct. What herbivore is a leaping marsupial? Yes, Pandora. Kangaroo. A kangaroo is the correct answer. All right, question number five. What Russian ballet is often performed at Christmas time? Yes, Bath. The Nutcracker. Nutcracker is correct. All right, we have five questions remaining in your semifinal. Name the island in the Southwest Pacific where the first Allied offensive victory occurred during World War II. That would be Bath. The Midway Islands. That is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa, you've got a chance with this question. Yes. Japan. That is also incorrect. It's Guadalcanal. All right, question seven. What is the dangerous fish that can discharge 400 volts of electricity? Yes, Bath. Eel. Could you expand the answer? Uh, electrical eel. We will accept that, the electric eel. All right. What wind instrument is considered to be of Scottish origin? Bath. The bagpipes. Bagpipes is correct. All right, teams, we have two questions remaining in your game. Identify the unit of sound strength with the symbol DB. Yes, that would be Pandora. Decibel. Decibel is correct. And here's your final question in your semifinal game. What term designates the thickness of one one thousand of an inch? Yes, Bath High School. Viscosity. That is incorrect. Pandora, you want to try it? A nanometer? That is also incorrect. It is mil. All right, everybody take a deep breath and exhale. Now we've come to the end of our semifinal game, and here's the final score. Pandora Gilboa, 60 points. Bath? 140. So congratulations. You'll be moving on to our championship game. Pandora Gilboa, once again, thank you so much for joining us this season. We want to thank you for watching at home and playing along with us. We will see you back here next week for the championship game. Bye-bye, everyone.